What's up guys, Mike here, bringing you part 8 of my Castle Crashers playthrough for Steam. In the last episode, we fought a giant ear of corn, and we ended up by fighting against a Medusa. Like, literally, we just destroyed Medusa. I don't know how, why or when she decided to show up, but... In this episode, we're going to be taking on the full moon. Personally, one of the most obnoxious levels ever in this game. But before we do that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and buy some potions, because... Yeah, I need to make sure I'm prepared this time. Uh, I'm actually going to show off the volcano store because I'm going to go ahead and buy some uh, toast in case we uh, run into any more bulky people. Those prices shouldn't burn your britches. They help you feed your son. Yeah, I don't know if they're that hot. I forgot to mention, guys, in some of the stores you can actually buy pets. Like this pet, for example. The spiny increases your defense. And some of these stores actually have different pets that you can buy. And, you know, before I start the next part of my playthrough, I should go ahead and show off some of the pets inside some of the stores. So that was spiny in the volcano store that increases your defense. Uh, the monkey ends up increasing your luck on finding items. Wait, what's the monkey's name? Monkey face. Perfect. But anyway, yeah, that's the church store, and then we got. I don't think the st I don't think the thief store has any pets in here, but maybe I'm wrong. No, thief store only has bombs and sticks. Uh. Yeah, there's no more stores other than that. I don't think. Uh, yeah, we could check out the swamp village store really quickly. Oh yeah, we have a pig in here that gives you a lot more health. Oh, why is one of the freaking barbarians here? I guess he's pissed off we defeated his boss. I'm getting out of here. Bye, Iguana Man. Anyway, yeah, we left off here at the Medusa's Lair, so let's go ahead and get started with the full moon, guys. Personally, one of the most bullcrap levels in my entire life because these freaking annoying people. These guys are extremely heavy, and as you're trying to defeat these guys, you get, you're getting bombarded by rocks, so... Yeah, this isn't Indiana Jones, this is some Castle Crashers bullshit right here, so we just gotta make sure we freaking get through this. And the, the freaking deer farted over the moon! You guys saw that? The freaking deer from the freaking forest shot himself over the moon. This isn't E.T. there, buddy. Yeah, this is why I hate this level. These guys are really freaking annoying. And honestly, if you, ha if you have the dash attack, I would just suggest freaking either letting the rocks defeat them or doing the dash attacks. Like I said, doing the dash attack gets multiple hits on people, so if you have a lot of freaking attack, it'll help you out here, but... Personally, these, this is the most annoying part of the game for me. I always die a lot here, but I'm hoping I can get a decent run through on this part. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying my playthrough so far. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this playthrough so far, definitely leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this playthrough. Let me hear any feedback you guys have to say. I want to interact with you guys just as much as you guys want to see my videos. So please, I can't keep this channel running without your support and, you know, just keeping me going. Because you guys are my fans. I want to do the best that I possibly can for you. Uh, if you guys didn't already see, you can subscribe to my channel in the top right corner. I have a watermark over there, so you guys can click that and check out my channel and my other videos. So far, I only got a playthrough of Castle Crashers and Super Mario Kart up until this point. But, I don't know if I should do another um, uh, racing game next, or if I should wait for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. But definitely let me know in the comments what games you guys want me to do on my channel, and I will gladly cover them without problems. Just let me know what you guys want, because there's a lot of games I want to get to that are pretty current. Because I was watching Some Call Me Johnny's review of Freedom Planet, and I love Sonic the Hedgehog, and that's exactly what the game reminds me of, so I might be doing that next. That way I'm not going right back to another racing game, even though that's what I was thinking about, because I love racing games. I'm a huge Mario Kart fan, and hopefully, when I'm able to afford the equipment, hopefully I'll be able to have weekly live streams with you guys, so you guys can race with me and come chat with me on Twitch. 
I would essentially like to do that and also like to have Smash tournaments because I am a huge Smash Bros fan. I didn't really get a chance to go to Apex which just passed since I can't really afford much while I'm doing a job search but if any of you have ever been to Apex before definitely let me know how it is because I really want to go one of these years. I know there's a lot of famous people that I'm huge fans of that went to Apex like Koban Armani 456 and PK Sparks. I heard Etika World Network was supposed to be there too but he had some stuff to take care of but Etika if you're watching this video I really like to thank I want to congratulate you on being able to get 100,000 subscribers. Uh, I seriously hope that one day we can collaborate and I really hope that your channel keeps growing from here because I honestly have a lot of respect for you for getting that many subscribers. And I'm hoping even though my channel is very small right now. I'm really hoping that I can somehow get even close to that level, or any of the people that I have on my YouTube channel. If you guys haven't already seen my channel page, definitely check out my YouTube inspiration. There's a lot of amazing people that you should definitely go check out their artwork and tell them that Mike's Monster Gaming sent you. Some Call Me Johnny does a lot of interesting reviews on his channel. Koban Armani456 is really dedicated to his fans and he just does really amazing jobs on his playthroughs. And Echo World Network, he's just really good with keeping up with the news on Amiibos and all sorts of other news. I just have a lot of respect for all these people and that's why I started making this YouTube channel. And I definitely hope that you guys will stick around and hopefully you guys will be able to see what I can bring to the table. And you know, I hope I can get to work with some of these people someday. But anyway, yeah, we're just fighting these knights for now. And it's just very obnoxious and this is a very long part of the game by the way. And, yeah, these knights are just very obnoxious. Oh, uh, we got a sword. There's supposed to be another sword that you can get in there, but unfortunately I didn't use the cardinal. But there's a key, there's literally a, key, a blade in the shape of a key that you can get from that shed over there. Uh, I should have probably bought the cardinal for me on this one, but... Yeah, if you use the cardinal, he'll go into the shed and he'll bring you the weapon. And then he'll unlock the locked door inside of the animal barn. Yeah, I just hate fighting these guys. These guys are probably my least favorite enemy in the entire game. I just really hate how heavy these guys are. It's really hard to pull off combos. Again, with these guys, it's easier to just launch them and do dash attacks. Yeah, as you can see, this part of the game is where they really start to try to overwhelm you. And it's really ridiculous. Well, honestly, if you want to prevent yourself from getting hit, just definitely run and dash attack. Just keep dash attacking. But yeah, I'm just going to keep freaking going until these guys are defeated. But these guys have a lot of health. It's not even funny how much health these guys have. But at least this time we're prepared in case we run into another problem like in the last episode. I was getting kind of close to getting beaten. Yeah, these guys are just really annoying. I'm sorry if there's not much to say about this part. But yeah, these guys are just really obnoxious. I really, I can't stress enough how annoying these guys are. When in doubt, jump and mash X. But anyway guys, um, in terms of what I want to do for my Twitch live streams, I would love to have weekly Mario Kart tournaments with you guys. Maybe eventually do giveaways. Let me know what you guys want in terms of like any sort of content on my channel. Because I would love to get to know you guys on my Twitch and just have live streams. Where I could just take on my viewers and smash a Mario Kart. Because... I'm not afraid to freaking fight any of you on Smash or Mario Kart. I actually want to see what you guys can do in terms of Smash skills. Honestly, fighting you guys and racing you guys in Mario Kart with, and Smash Bros. would definitely make me a much better gamer. And it will be a great way for me to connect with you guys. But I can't unfortunately do that right now unless I have the money to buy better equipment. I have yet to buy a console capture card, but if you guys want to support me on Patreon... I would seriously appreciate it and I'm offering rewards like uh, black and white color drawings of my logos that I'll actually autograph them for you. Like $5 I should get you a black and white logo autographed and made by me. $10 for the same logo but in full color autographed by me. Uh, $15 would actually get you some custom remixes I've made on a different account name because I've made a lot of remixes under another account name. Uh, and then for $20, if you guys want to come into a private racing room with me on Mario Kart 8, I would totally love to race with you guys. 
But I really don't know what other kind of Patreon rewards would be good for you guys, but... If there's anything in general you guys want from me in terms of rewards on my Patreon that will get you to support me, please, just let me know. There's no, no request that's too big or too small. Honestly, my essential goal is that whenever I reach 100,000 subscribers, I would love to help one of you guys by giving away a computer and a complete YouTube starter setup for someone who's as serious about making YouTube commentaries as I am. That's essentially my dream. If I ever reach 100,000 subscribers, I promise I will give away a computer. But anyway, guys, yeah, we just got another sword. It has plus one strength, minus one magic, and plus three defense, but we're going to stick with the better weapon. Anyway, yeah, we were, we're also fighting these people from the ice world that have the butthole faces again. But yeah, I forget how long this is going to be. This might be a little bit of a slightly longer part of the playthrough, guys. We're also getting very, very close to the end now. We're also getting very close to saving our third princess, I believe. But See, I like fighting the light blue guys, because those guys are a lot easier to attack. Oh, I love that. Rocks, one meter that way. Swamp, 96 meters that way. And then just his burr. Oh, I love the music for this part, guys. The snow world. The music for this level is seriously amazing. I'm going to keep my mouth shut for a minute so you guys can listen to this. Once it actually starts up a bit. Because this has a sick beat. Yeah, I'm going to just keep quiet once it starts up. Yeah, I love the beat for this level. This this freaking music for this part of the game is epic. I just think it's a really nice pop of techno beat to it. And if I find a link to it, I will definitely leave a link to it in the description. That way you guys can download it. Not download it, but at least listen to it. Also, another person I'm a huge fan of on YouTube is Family Jewel 7 x And I think he did a cover of this level's music. And honestly, I, I'm just going to leave a link to his cover in the description because I just think he's an awesome musician. I play a little bit of piano myself, but I'm not really that good. But if you guys ever want me to play something on my channel like, in terms of piano music, let me know. I could play a little bit by ear, but I'm not really honestly that big of a musician. I'm definitely more of a hardcore gamer than a musician, but I, I do love the sound of the piano a lot, and that's definitely something about me that you guys will get to know. I just love the piano a lot. I actually have a Yamaha YPT320 keyboard that I mess around with every now and again. But yeah, we're just apparently in the middle of a snowball fight, because apparently these guys think that it's okay to freaking hit me with snowballs, when clearly it isn't. It's annoying because they're hiding behind these rock walls, but you know what? I'm just going to juggle these guys. Overkill! Yeah, I, I, I destroyed them until they were dead. I'm sorry. Honestly, the, when you get to any of the people throwing snowballs, just definitely destroy the walls first if you can, if you can help it. Because honestly, the, the faster you destroy these people throwing the snowballs, the less of a nuisance they'll be. Because when they start throwing their snowballs, it's going to be hard to attack them, but... That's actually what the magic these guys have, and I'm st I was stuck behind the wall. Alright. I see you hiding in the corner there, Mr. Anus Butt Man. I swear, I could still never get over the design of these characters. Like, I don't know why they just have a random gap in the middle of their face. Really? Why you gotta throw a snowball at me? See, that's not nice. Get frostbite. I played catch with him. You ain't hiding behind the rocks. I'm not having that. Honestly, even if you just juggle people against the wall on the ground with a Y button like this. Honestly, this is freaking broken right here. Like, look how much damage I'm doing to him. I'm not even touching anything. 
I'm just holding right and just hitting the Y. I was just holding right and pressing the Y button. Because I'm currently using my new Xbox One controller. Well, I've had it for a while, but I didn't actually get a chance to make a review video for it. And that's also another thing I want to invest in. I actually want to get a webcam. That way you guys can actually see me talking during these videos. Let me know what you guys think about that. If you think I'm better off with a full screen game recording. Or if you guys actually want to see my face. And actually see my webcam. But. I live in the New York area. But I definitely will start planning to go to a couple of new Smash events when they come around. If you guys have heard of Nebulous NYC. I definitely plan to go and possibly try to meet up with people there. But I will definitely make update videos whenever I'm going to a Nebulous event or any type of Smash slash Nintendo event. Because I am a diehard Nintendo gamer at heart and I definitely want to support Nintendo and definitely cover anything that they do on my channel. Oh yeah, there's a cave by the way that you can explore. Oh no, we're out, never mind. This is, we have to actually go in here, guys. But freaking falling icicles! Yeah, they do 10 damage each, but... Oh yeah, if you come over here, you can actually pick up the stake over here that I was using with the Necromancer. This still has better stats, but... Hey, it's the princess! Oh, why are you laughing at me? It's about to get frozen up in here, because he's about to let that shit go. That was obnoxious. Oh yeah, get ready for this part. This gets really annoying. So yeah, if you hold the left trigger, you can actually shield. So yeah, jump whenever you see the ice blast and you hold the left trigger whenever you see the bow and arrows. And you can tell when an ice blast is coming, you can hear him go, ha! Ah! Wait. Yeah, you're gonna hear him say that. Yeah, I'm not getting frozen, I'm sorry. He really needs to let it go. Never mind, I got frozen. That's right, the cold never bothered me anyway. Good, I'm glad you guys stopped with the bow and arrows. That's an annoying part with the bow and arrows, honestly. But yeah, using the dash attack is really good for getting combos in, but... This boss battle with the Ice King is extremely obnoxious and you can tell we're in the boss room because that's going to close behind us with that face. But the room in here is extremely slippery and this guy is a total dick. Yeah, he's going to start laughing at us and shit's just going to get really annoying. Yeah, watch how much of an asshole he becomes by the way because it's going to get really stupid when I get lower health. Yeah, it, it's coming because this, this one part of the boss battle is extremely obnoxious. It's not even him making the ice everywhere. This shit right here. No matter what, these icicles will not stop following you. And as it goes down, this just gets nothing but worse. These freaking icicles will troll you and they will make you feel very annoyed by the end of this boss battle. Keep moving at all costs. Because if you do not stop moving, if you stop moving, you will get penetrated by icicles and you will get raped and it will do a nice amount of damage. Especially when we get closer down to his head because you see they're starting to come down a little bit faster. He's going to rape us with icicles in a few seconds. And see, it's really obnoxious if you're on the ground he actually freezes you also with that. Yeah, if you're not careful, this is just really going to be annoying. Well, I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that for a little bit. But yeah, get ready to watch. As soon as it gets a lot lower, it's just going to get really annoying really fast. Yeah, like I said, if you end up getting frozen inside of an icicle, definitely just keep mashing the control stick left and right. I, I really hate dealing with this guy. These are the yeah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is bullshit right here. Yeah, honestly, I would suggest using dash attacks if you can. 
I hit him there. I don't know what happened, but... Get out of here, freaking Ice King. I know you think you're cool in that, but... You're, you're just as obnoxious as the Adventure Time, Ice King. I just want to get rid of you. You can't have my princess. Go get yourself a lumpy space princess. You, you can't have mine. I, I need to get this princess back to the kingdom. For the kingdom! Good freeze, you stupid pain in the ass. Rush! Alright, go on freaking get some gold, go on freaking get rid of him now. Oh shit, go on get that gold. Come here, baby, I'll warm the lips up. Ram. Yeah, that's gonna do it for part eight of my playthrough, guys. Uh, yeah, let's see, what are we gonna do for. I really don't like using magic in this game. I honestly think that health, strength, and speed and archery are all you really need. Wow, I can't even believe this, guys. In the next episode of Castle Crashers, it's actually the finale. We're gonna be taking on the wizard castle takeoff in the exterior, the interior of the castle, guys. We're gonna be going after the final princess. Don't worry there, homie. We're gonna be coming for you in the next episode of Castle Crashers, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can subscribe in the top right corner, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share any thoughts at all with me. I want to get to know you guys, leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing, any feedback, any thoughts, anything in general you want to talk to me about, I want to listen to what you guys have to say. I'm usually pretty social on Twitter, and if not, I definitely answer all my comments as best as I possibly can, but until the next episode guys, take care.